as Autistic Pride Day is coming up this Sunday, and it's a day driven by members of the autistic community who believe their differences should be celebrated. And one organization that does just that every day is the Unicorn Children's Foundation in Boca Raton. And here to talk more about it is their new executive director, Dr. Jamie Salvato. She joins us now with more. Welcome. Thank and you. And congrats on the new position. Thank you so much, and thank you for having yeah, us. Yeah, it's our pleasure. So first, let's talk about um, Autistic Pride Day. What, what is it exactly for people who haven't heard about it? So Autistic Pride Day is a day that all individuals celebrate who it is that they are. And for me, having a child with special needs who has characteristics of autism, it's important that we're mindful of being aware and just embracing all of our differences. So it really isolates that one day. Okay, and how can people participate? What can people do? Well, people can help one another just become more sensitive. And that's one of our programs that we have is creating compassionate children. So that should be infused throughout everyone and through our community. Wonderful. Um, I want to talk about this new position that you're in because you are yes. making some changes over at the organization. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that? Well, I came in six months ago and I'm excited. It's a dream job for me, mm -hmm. but we're changing the trajectory of where it is that we're going. So we're still embracing autism, but we're all also going to be including all disabilities. Talk to us about the organization. I know that we've had um, you guys on the show before, and it's yes. always it's always great to uh, to learn more about the organization. But just tell us about the kind of empowerment um, and and just education that's going right. on. So, well, we we have our Boca School for Autism, which I think we'll tap on yes. in a in a couple of minutes. But the Unicorn Children's Foundation has so many different programs, and we have everything from our family navigator, who is a walking Google individual. She's here with me today, Nicole. And she helps everyone at every stage and at every phase. And so if you are in a difficult area of trying to navigate the turbulent waters of having an individual with special needs, that's where we can come in and help. Talk to us about the school. Yes. Well, the school we're super excited about. <laughs> that's one of our largest programs. This and is what we're looking at here now. The yes, picture is great. Yes. So we're really excited about the school. We're opening up on August 10th and our program is really quite unique because the BSA model focuses in on an evidence-based curriculum. So not only do we have the teachers and the assistants, but we have our clinicians. So we have OT, PT, speech, music therapy, art therapy, all of these different products mm -hmm. underneath one house and it really is a collaboration but we're focusing in on the students strengths and when you're able to do that as a team collaboratively it makes all the difference in the world and and we also have a really small ratio so we have six students with a a main teacher and then we also have the assistant teacher so it's a one to three ratio yeah for maybe parents who are listening who are interested what what can we tell them to please call Boca School for Autism or they can call us directly the Unicorn Children's Foundation and we can guide them for whatever age they are interested in so not only children but also through adulthood but our, our middle school and high school is over at the FAU Research Park Great. Is there anything else you want to add we didn't talk about? You know, our Family Navigator program was given to us um, through Impact 100, mm -hmm. and they gave us a wonderful grant. But we also have our vocational programs, and we just started a wonderful internship program over at the Wyndham Hotel. Oh, great. So once our students receive their certification through either our barista training our retail training or a hospitality program, then they can go straight into an internship program. Oh, it's wonderful just to see all of these pictures here and just all the different resources that are available to families. Thank you so much for coming and, and telling us more about the program. And if you want more information, you can head to our website, WPBF.com. You'll find this interview there and also a link to their website. Again, just go to WPBF.com and search Autistic Pride Day. Vanessa. Thanks, Nathalie. And time is 920. And right now in Delray Beach looks beautiful. We have a couple of those hikes.